Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like even if information came out that it could potentially hurt the surrounding area, they might still push forward and, and still do it, yeah. And I was told there's some people that's sick and died, but I really don't know. Oh yeah, that was, it was definitely contamination. That's why they closed down the incinerator. But I do have a respiratory problem. I didn't have it before I moved here. So it, it's definitely our first option is to fight so that we wouldn't have to relocate or anything like that to protect our family. So, yeah. Save our lake! Save our lake! Save our lake! Save our lake! Good afternoon. Would you mind introducing yourself today? Hi, I'm Josephine Clark. My name is Jim Swanson. Robert Ricks. My name is Eddie Campbell. Mrs. Can I call you Miss Campbell? Yes. Um, we're actually in the Lake Air area. How many years have you resided here? Well, before I moved into the house, my godmother lived here. We're talking over 50 years. Over 50 years? Yes. With 50 years, I'm actually um, in the back of the residence, which is a beautiful view. Um, do you have any history or anything that you could share with us in regards to this particular area, as far as the water, the residence, or anything that would be a concern or something that you really have pleasure enjoying in this particular neighborhood? Okay, well, of course I enjoy the, uh, the lake. Uh, but there is more sadness, I, I believe, this is from me, from the lake. Uh, my godmother and her husband died of cancer. The neighbor next door, the husband died of cancer. Uh, the one on the west side of me died of cancer. The people that live a couple died of cancer. Uh, I have a respiratory problem. I'm not going to say that I got it from here, but I do have a respiratory problem. I didn't have it before I moved here. And I've been living here, say, at least, ooh, 50, at least 15 years or more. Uh, is there any concerns that you have uh, direct to this lake or any of the surrounding property? that you have here? Well, the incinerator used to be over on 31st Avenue when I first bought back in 72 uh, and they closed it down and then it was contaminated. So when they closed down the incinerator, they even capped it because they wanted to keep whatever was there, you know, any chemicals or anything that was there under control. They had the incinerator back there uh, at one time and that was a problem, but once they got rid of that and they kind of cleaned the uh, canal out, everything seemed to be fine so far. Okay, when you say canal, are you referring to the water that's behind you here? Yes, I am. Is there anything that you know in reference to that water and that actually you're saying that was connected to the incinerator? Do you know any history to the water? Oh yeah, that was, it was definitely contamination. That's why they closed down the incinerator. And I guess was some type of a runoff or something from coming from the incinerator that contaminated the water. But I mean, nobody could eat the fish. But like I said, once they closed the incinerator down, and they seem to do a pretty good job of cleaning the uh, system out. When you say contamination, was there any uh, test done that you're aware of? Yes, it was. Okay. What was the final conclusion of that test? Do you remember? Um, I don't remember exactly what it was. Uh, it was in regards to. Uh, Esther McCoy had done a thing around here and it was uh, one of those super fest type thing they call it. I don't remember what they called it, but it was something they found that it was very contaminated because we have a lot of residents along this area who have uh, died because of cancer. Because of they figured things were in the lake. We were told not to fish out there or eat any of the fish, not to be able to go out there to swim and anything like that. So I know years ago maybe Robert McKenzie might remember years ago I think they did they was testing over there over there I think uh, then they put a with the resident it's over there off night of 31st uh, you can drive down into the 
by the canal and they put a fence there. They put, they put a fence on 31st and they put a fence in the neighborhood to keep you from getting to the canal. Oh yeah, there was lots of testing. Uh, I'm not uh, can't remember anything specific, but uh, several homeowners meetings that we had, and that was always the topic of discussion. And um, have you heard about what the city is trying to do to the lake? Well, I'm told that they want to put some apartments over there. And uh, you know, how does how does that make you feel in a sense? Do you feel like it's a good idea or not? No, um, most of the people in in this area do not like the idea. As far as I know of, I, I, I think it's, I don't know, just a congestion, just the idea of putting apartments back there. And most people like the water back there because that's one reason some people came over here to get the house. Well, my understanding that they was, they're going to uh, fill a lake in and build condos or townhouses, which I think is not a very good idea because you got to look at your health. I think that would be a health problem. Do you know significantly any concerns as far as health reasons uh, involving or having any uh, speculations in reference to the water behind you? No, not of late. Like I said, once they clean everything out, uh, it seemed to be fine. I personally don't know, but I've heard that this day or something. So what have you heard? Is there contamination or? Yeah, that's, that's the main thing. And some, some people said they would not, they would not eat the fish out of there. But, but I see some people go back there and fish. How important would it be for you to know if this particular water area versus this generator have any effect on your health? I would love to know. Really love to know. We are opposed to filling in the lake. 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 Were there ever warning signs like it's contaminated or you should not be eating from the water or is there swimming in the water? Was there ever anything that you could recall in reference to like a warning for the neighbors not to use the lake? No. No. Nothing said not to use the lake. In fact, uh, a couple of times I've seen kids swimming in the lake. Uh, would it be concerning of yours or any of the neighbors if actually someone went out to aggravate whatever was contaminated in that water? Yes. Uh, would it be a major concern for your family? Absolutely. Have any of those concerns ever been proven or any of those concerns been eliminated? never been proven that I know of. And we're still yet dealing with the same issues that we have over a period of years. Yes. No, they have not. No. Um, what is it that you think that has been going on? Why have they not responded? Uh, location, location. They're not really concerned about anything that goes on over here in our area. And, uh, you know, it's just every time you turn around, the property is passed down to different people. It's sold and that's what it is. Do you know who owns this lake? No, I don't know who owns it, but I, I don't... Let me see who owns the lake. I don't know his name, but I know he had... He came to my house once because he wanted to go down... He wanted a pathway to uh, go down further. I think you, this lake, it, if you got in a boat, you go around the edges, you can see the edge, like you see those rocks there. You see coral, and that's what they dug out of here, coral. Oh. I see a lot of wildlife here. Um, if this water happens to be contaminated, is there any concerns as far as your health or family health or even the wildlife itself? Is there any concerns that you would like to be addressed for that? Now, with my uh, respiratory problem, like I said, I don't know whether it came from here or not. Uh, would you like to know if it is? I would like to know, yes. Um, I know that you were saying that there is possibly uh, some 
concerns that have were raised, but no definite answer, no definitive answer as to any testing or the final conclusion to testing. Would you like it to be tested? Yes. Have you ever seen or acknowledged any other uh, entity or trucks or anything dropping into this particular area? It had been with the prior owner. It had been uh, someone who was over there during the time who had gotten the permit. We were going to fill in and use it for like a transfer type place for dumping things. And then they'll come in and pick it up later on. So that went on for a while. But uh, when you say dumping things, are you speaking on the terms of what type of material do you recall? It was supposed to be like uh, clear trash rocks and stuff that was supposed to have been over there but when they finally uh talk with the people and stuff they made them go back and clean that area up that they had started doing that you know i don't know what company but i used to sit outside and they used to dump i don't know what it was dumping but they did they used to dump over there is that a legend where that sandy part is right that sandy there? part so there's an opening that a truck can actually come there. Yeah, off of 30, off of 31st. Okay, but we have no recognition as far as what company or if in fact whatever it is that they're dumping into the Right, water. then they, I don't know what happened, but eventually they stopped dumping. Yes. Is there anything else that you would want them to hear from you in regards to filling in that lake? Well, all I would tell them is that leave well enough alone. I mean, it's a, it's a lake. It's water. I mean, why take the the water, build stuff? We don't need anything else built there. Uh, um, I mean, it looks nice. <laughs> it might not be so nice, you know, in the water itself. But I mean, it's, it's attractive. Uh, like I said, especially with the neighbors' yards because they don't have all the um, shrubbery and stuff behind theirs, and you can get a good shot at the canal. But it, it's you know. Is there anything that's back there, like wildlife or anything that's... Yeah, raccoons. Raccoons. <laughs> uh, we've actually seen iguanas. Yes. Is there it, anything else that you actually see back no, there? That's basically it, raccoons and iguanas. Okay, majorly. Yes. Okay. So and cats. Every, uh, well, eno well enough, meaning that you oppose to them actually reactivating or going out and touching the contamination that right now you're considering the contamination should be left alone where it is yes and that there should be no building exactly i think they should come out and be concerned about who uh the citizens who are in the community we're the ones who are more aware of what's going on rather than just to make the decisions and then let us live by it afterwards so they should come out and really meet up with the people here and hear our inputs about what's going on so we don't really know what's in there now but if they start digging it up we'll have something you know things that will come and arise because of that so I'm very concerned about that and then I would think about the idea of what happened down to uh, Surfside when they had that Champlain uh, you know the towers came down and if they're thinking about putting uh, condos apartments whatever they're gonna put over there homes it would be a disaster to see somebody around here later on in life lose their life because things were not settled out there and they filled in a canal and built on top of it. Save our lake. 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 My name is Roger Patrick and I oppose a filling in the lake. Hi, my name is Linda Patrick and we live in the Lake Air community and we are opposing to the filling in of our lake, our neighborhood lake. We don't want it filled in. My name is Vera Armbrister and I oppose the filling of the lake. My name is Gerald Armbrister Sr. And uh, I oppose the filling of the lake. My name is Patricia Stanley and I'm a resident of the Lake Air Estates community and I do oppose the filling in of the lake. 
My name is General Stanley. We have too much cancer in our community. I oppose the filling of the lake. Hi, my name is April Young, and the community of Lake Air says we oppose to filling in our lake. 